every four and a half minutes, a baby is born with a birth defect in this country. Tonight, Christina Flores has more on what women can do to reduce their chances of having a baby with a birth defect. Birth defects actually occur very early in pregnancies. Birth defects are very common here in Utah. You likely know a child or have a child that has a birth defect, such as spinal bifida, anencephaly, or orofacial clefts. And in most cases, women don't even know their baby has a birth defect until after the baby is born. You're looking at two to eight weeks after conception is the critical period for major birth defects to occur, which is well before women recognize that they're pregnant. Researchers like Dr. Marsha Feldkamp are still trying to pinpoint what exactly causes birth defects. Is it genetics or is it something in the environment? In 70 to 80 percent of cases of birth defects, the cause is not known. Public service announcements such as this one are helping to raise awareness about birth defects. But experts say there is more women can do to help reduce their risk of having a baby born with a birth defect. People try to get to a healthy weight, eat a healthy diet. All of those things are extremely important before a woman gets pregnant. So we call that preconception care. And you should be ingesting at least 400 micrograms of folic acid every single day, whether you are pregnant or at least thinking about getting pregnant. Well, we know from decades of research that folic acid reduces the risk of neural tube defects. We don't know how it works, but it definitely has over 50% reduction in risks. Uh, multivitamins usually have the recommended daily dose of folic acid, so just be sure to check the bottle. If you have any questions about folic acid or birth defects, we have a great uh, line of resources for you on our website. Just go to KUTV.com, look for the Baby Your Baby link.